Proverbs chapter 18. I want to cover just one verse with you this morning and, and pray we'll give us some thought throughout our day today. Re read it with me. Look at verse 9. Proverbs 18 at verse 9. He also who is slack in his work is brother to him who destroys. You know, brethren, laziness is not a small thing. In fact, laziness is a big deal. It's, it's sinful, in fact, and it's certainly foolish. It isn't the first time that, that Solomon has addressed this in our study. It's certainly something that we need to give some thought, regardless of uh, our stage in life. You know, Solomon here likens laziness to destruction. You know, at first reading uh, that, we might think that maybe that's a bit dramatic. We, we typically maybe don't associate laziness with something as major as destruction. But Solomon is right here. Laziness, it's selfish, it's neglectful, it's wrong. Work is a blessing. You know, we all make our jokes about work, and we all at some time or another talk in regards to our dread to work, and, and that's natural, no doubt. But I do think we, we need to be very careful to set the proper examples, especially to the next generation when it comes to the value of work the great privilege of work, the necessity of, of hard work, uh, a good work ethic. We, we need to help them connect the rewards of hard work, help them connect the, the aspect of stewardship with hard work, and ultimately the ability to do good and share with others as a result of, of hard work. We, we need to teach our children how to work, that work is a blessing. We need to hold them accountable. And, and certainly we should never reward laziness. Now, let me leave you to ponder this morning, James 4, at verse 17, because I, I think this idea certainly applies. James says, therefore, to one who knows the right thing to do, does not do it, to him it is sin. You know, whether it be our secular jobs or certainly our work in the kingdom of God as his church, but then let's work hard. Let's give it all we've got. Let, let's use what God is blessing us with to the best of our ability. And as God rewards our, our hard work, let's be quick to use our blessings. Use our blessings to his glory as we share with others and help others reach their goal of heaven. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father in heaven, Father, we're so thankful for this day and for all our many blessings, Father. Father, we pray for those who are hurting, those of us who have lost loved ones, Father, bless us, comfort us as only you can. Father, be with those who are struggling with various health issues. Bless them. Father, we're thankful for Sister Jeanette and her successful surgery. Bless her as she continues to recover. Father, we ask you to continue to be with Wally, to be with Chaney, to be with Ellie, to be with Dad, to be with all of those. Father. Continuous health struggles. We pray that you'd be with the Weedman family, be with Betty's mother. To be with his granddaughter. Father, we're thankful for the successful operation that Valerie, a backhead father, pray that you would be with her and with her family as they care for her father. Father, we pray that you would be with us today, that you would give us courage to do what is right. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.